you're still here. Of course you are. Because leaving your house for supplies right now feels like the Indiana Jones steal the golden idol, escape from the big rolly ball scene. Only instead of a priceless artifact, you're clutching a bag of toilet paper. Welcome back to Social Distancing with John Malkovich. You know, I auditioned for the role of Indiana Jones, but I didn't get it. Steven Spielberg said that he didn't want Indiana Jones to be a bald guy. And I said, Jesus Christ, Steve, what's the difference? The motherfucker's got a hat on the whole goddamn movie. But I do know I booked the role of Cyrus the Virus in Con Air specifically because I was bald. So, you win some, you lose some. Mm. Oh, this? Yes, I'm taking a little Beaujolais vacation. Red wine pairs well with global meltdown, and it also keeps you healthy, especially if you dip the rim of the glass in Purell. Okay, so the coronavirus. It's destroyed every facet of life. And because gyms are closed and jogging is stupid, maybe you're looking for a way to stay active whilst retaining your personal distance. Well, might I suggest you dust off the old hula hoop. You can hoop at home, you can hoop outside because it creates a natural perimeter. Now, know what you're thinking, John. The average diameter of a hula hoop is only three and a half feet. I need a full safe six. Wrong. The act of hula hooping is so repulsive. It's going to give you a personal buffer the length of a football field. Jesus Christ, is that somebody in their 40s hula hooping in 2020? Honey, grab the kids, take only the essentials. We need to leave town now because this one is fucking torched. Also, pillows can provide a great way to relieve some stress and to get that heart pumping. Screaming into a pillow. It's a great way to see if your breath stinks and to get things off of your chest so that those around you don't hear. <laughs> if this pillow could talk, it wouldn't talk. It would be shrieking unspeakable evils. I'd have to shoot it with a gun and then cast it into some flames for good measure. Schools and businesses have closed. So now families are living on top of one another 24 hours a day. This is a stressful time. Remember, stress makes people horny. So fully expect to walk in on a family member masturbating. This will happen. And when it does, just pretend like that part of the house, it's dead to you. It's haunted now. And then never look your father in the eye again. He'll thank you for it. It's going to be your dad. And that reminds me, whether you've touched a handrail or touched a handrail, let's remember to wash those hands. Good night.